seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hey guys, really quick. Um, I wanted to do a video. I first of all I want to apologize about my previous video. Not that it's um something serious. I guess it is kind of serious, but um nothing like dire death related but anyway i just want to apologize because um the outro deep part lays i kind of when i when i'm recording it shows my head but i guess during editing and when i upload it then it it kind of cuts off my the like the top part of my head and that kind of you know made it hard for you guys to see how the top part of um test looks so this video is just going to be about the construction of Tess, the, her cat. Um, any, you know, major details. Hopefully this is going to be a really quick video. Um, right now I am wearing Annie. Um, but pretty much this is going to be about Tess again. I really want to give you guys a chance to see how the top of Tess looks. And if you could not see it in the uh, pre my previous uh, review on Tess. So, let me go get her. And also, I'll definitely got fill you guys in on Annie, of course, after I talk about Tess for a little bit. So, this is Tess. And this is her construction. I'm going to... This is how the lace looked after I kind of plucked it I kind of filled it in a bit with some con well not concealer I filled it in with some powder um, that's pretty much how that is looking um, it looks more realistic at a distance I'm not gonna sit here and say oh it looks absolutely undetectable if you have people who are all up in your scalp all the time trying to taste what your scalp tastes like then they're going this is going to be detectable but i'm pretty sure no one should be dealing with those problems this is the texture i want y'all to see and kind of compare her to annie almost these are the two textures let's see if i can get a little bit of better lighting this is how they look side by freaking side guys i want to say tess is slightly coarser i'm seeing more of that crinkle in tess and also i believe tess kind of um she sheds a bit more only because i you know plucked the lace but this is her inside Ew. Okay, anyway. <laughs> this is what the cap looks like on the inside. There are your little two tabs. I kind of accidentally cut one. I think this one. But as you can see, Tess is supposed to be laid this way. So she's like a side part. And you have the combs in there that you pretty much are supposed to kind of be like that, I'm guessing. You have two combs right there, one here. One there, one there, kind of in odd places, but whatever keeps her on, and one in the back. These are the little string things I'm talking about. Every time you hear me say some weird word about, you know, adjusting the wig, it's more than likely going to be this little thing right here. It's supposed to, I believe it's like a comfort or custom fit wig um, for me. And I'm just showing you guys the wig and I'm talking over it because I feel like I want y'all to really get to see how Tess looks and I'm not that like that important right now. But that's why my face isn't in the video. But this is her. Her ends look like this. Excuse me, I did not really comb her out, but her ends are very nice. I like them. Um, I wouldn't want them to be cut across, and I've seen a wig like that where it is cut across, and I thought that was really ugly because it just looks weird. Like, no one's hair is like that. This is the top part of her. I just want to, because I really feel bad that, you know, y'all couldn't see the top of my head. But... That is Tess in her construction. I'm going to go ahead and give y'all a, a kind of close up on the wefts and the, you know, L part she has here. I'd say it's about 
four inches, four, four and a half inches in her combs. I really like combs like this. I don't like the ones that clip because the ones that clip, they take out my hair. Um, the ones that are just, you know, straight like this and like the ones in half wigs, I really can appreciate those because they just go and like when my hair was used to be natural, I mean that wig would not go anywhere. These little combs would get settled into a a, a curl bundle or a, a, a nap cluster in my head and it wouldn't move until I took it off and I like that. Now those other combs that just go like clip, clip, um... Those remind me of those Chuck E. Cheese machine when you feeding it your tickets. That's exactly what it's doing to your hair. You feeding it your hair and it's eating it and it's taking it out your head. And I lost some hair that way. Like it kind of messed with my edges at one point in time in the back and in the front or pretty much wherever I put them. But pretty much that is Tess, guys. That is Tess. And that's just the front part. I just wanted to do a really quick um, update on that. And what I use to detangle, what I've been using to detangle Tess and Annie, as of late, it was a comb, but that wasn't working. This little detangler brush, this is really good for curly hair. If you guys, you know, use, let me get this camera right. If you guys use, if you guys have curly installations or whatever, like this comb, is I mean for straight hair curly hair whatever um, it gets the job done now the thing that I have to say since we we have I have Annie on and I just showed you guys Tess I have both of them right here what I can go ahead and say about the two is I love Annie Annie is my gonna be my main chick like she's gonna be my main wig I will I feel like Tess is more of if when I want to get dressed up, be that, have that exotic, sexy look. What is that? I would throw Tess on. Now, Annie, um, this is like an everyday wig. Flipper, flopper, as you can see, she's been flipped and flopped and she's laying right. The only thing that really gets me with Annie is, because I've only worn her maybe, um, Two days consecutively, and today is the third day I'm wearing her after like a a week. Wow, a week. At least a week. Almost a full seven days. But her ends kind of get tangly. Tess, I don't have that problem. Probably not yet, but hopefully... It, with Tess, is just a shedding thing that I'm trying to get under control, which is my own fault. With Annie, um, I'm not really experiencing shedding. Um, it's, unless I, you know, go in and go hard and detangle, but I really don't have to go detangle like crazy. Um, but I am going to keep that brush around, um, because no one wants that embarrassing bird feather peacock tail in the back of their head. But anyway, to wrap this up, I mean, I do get a little tangling right here, but I mean, nothing that you won't be able to handle. And if you guys are also wonder wondering... Another thing that I don't really care too much for with Annie is the band. The band in the front, she's a half wig, so you guys know that band if you wear half wigs that I'm talking about. It is kind of thick. I would prefer, and I don't think Altre would, oh, it's thick? Let's change all of our wigs and make them thin. They're not going to say that or do that. Um, I mean, it would be nice if they did, but um, that band with my hair being the way, you know, as slicked down as possible, like, it really kind of shows through sometimes, but what I do to prevent that is I've been using edge control, I, I, I have to pull out, I feel like I have to pull out a lot of hair with Annie, um, and not pull out, I mean, like, leave out a lot more hair, which I'm, I'm not too, you know, distraught about, it's okay, but it's, it's, kind of annoying me I'm not gonna lie slightly because the band is a little thick in the front and sometimes it'll show through your hair and I'm just really picky like that um but it's fixable I mean I just guess you got to pull out more hair but I mean it's not a big deal to me because my hair I mean it matches the texture of her so it's just gonna make it look more realistic I guess and also what I do to try to fix that because I don't want flyaways with these wigs because Here's, I'm going to show you, my real hair is like, this is a piece of my real hair. Now let's lay it back down. 
that's a piece of my real hair. You guys can see this is my real hair right there. Um, what another thing that I would recommend if you all would, you know, need some tips on how to if you get tired of like you go outside and your hair sticking up because your hair is probably a little shorter than these long strands of Annie um, hairspray. Hairspray has actually become hand in hand with my pomades. Pomades do the job for the edges, but also if you spray your edges with hair hairspray, maybe just do a blow dryer over them or wrap them in a scar, them edges ain't going nowhere. Like they're gonna be KO for a little bit longer than usual. And that's what I've been doing. Like I'll spray my brush and just brush my flyaways and even my hair onto Annie. I'm trying to milk the two together so that they can blend and not just be flying up and looking like Tweety Bird in the grocery store and never again. But um that's just a little little tiny update on Annie. I am having a little shedding but not shedding but tangling but nothing that you can't just get done with your fingers. Um and uh hope you guys enjoyed the construction uh little thing with Tess. I'm I'm hoping that you, you know, that was a lot better than just seeing my eyes looking like a pedophile in my other video. <laughs> oh my god, I can't hold myself. But anyway, I'm gonna not keep this too long. Uh, I don't like to ramble. Uh, but if you guys have any questions, any other concerns, if you cannot see my big ass forehead in my video, please let me know. I will get it to together real quick for you. Um, and just, you know, be real with me, be honest. Thank you. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother...